This screencast will show you how to apply filters to your search results. Search filters are another way that you can narrow down your results. However, when conducting a comprehensive search or a search for a systematic review, some filters available in the database will not be useful or appropriate. You can find the search filters by scrolling down and looking under the column called Refine Results on the left-hand side of the page. While limits can be very helpful for precision searching, they should always be used with caution. Let's start with probably the most trustworthy filter, the publication date limiter. If your research is only interested in articles published between a specific set of dates, you can drag the bar from the left and right in order to adjust the date range, or you can click on each box and type in your chosen year. Doing this will automatically refresh the search results and also add a new line to the top of your search history. The next filter, the language filter, can be helpful if you would like to remove any articles that are not written in a language you or your team member can speak. The age, gender, and geography filters can be applied if you're only interested in retrieving results where a specific population is reported on, such as women aged 65 years plus in the United States. When applying an age limiter, it's important to keep in mind that not every database categorizes age in the same way. The age range for a child or a middle-aged adult in CINAHL may not be the same as it is in Embase or Medline. When using filters, it's always important to give proper consideration to what you'll be excluding before you apply a filter in order to ensure you aren't removing any relevant results, particularly if you're working on a systematic or scoping review. Most database filters are unvalidated and almost always over-limit a search. For questions on the other filters available in CINAHL, please contact a Gerstein librarian at ask.gerstein at utoronto.ca. In the next video, I'll show you how you can save your search so you don't lose your work.